Our next guest comes from a galaxy far, far away, Mexico. He is here to revisit his role in Rogue One in the newest Star Wars series, Andor. How? You just walk in like you belong. Takes more than that, doesn't it? What, to steal from the Empire? What do you need? A uniform, some dirty hands, and an Imperial toolkit? <laughs> They're so proud of themselves, they don't even care. They're so fat and satisfied, they can't imagine it. Can't imagine what? That someone like me would ever get inside their house, walk their floors, spit in their food, take their gear. And or premieres September 21st on Disney Plus. Please welcome Diego Luna. Wow, how nice you got it. Sorry. <laughs> I brought you that, Guillermo. I know about your drinking problem. Oh, 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 oh my problem? What happened to the shots? This is the good glasses. tequila, not the <laughs> you, you drink, <laughs> man. So, I mean, this is what I drink. <laughs> I'm sorry it's open. Uh, I couldn't handle it. I get very nervous and anxious before. Oh, uh, did you have a little sip before I you? Just uh, a quarter of the bottle. Oh, so, so it's OK if I, I uh, try it a little yes, bit? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm COVID tested also, so you All can right. go for it. <laughs> I tell you, five minutes ago during the commercials, he was complaining that he's not feeling well, he's hung over, and now <laughs> right back yeah, at that's it. That's good. Uh, little... I love tequila, Jimmy. Yeah, you do love tequila. Okay. I, I, I could never say no to tequila. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very kind of you to think of Guillermo. You were uh, at the Emmys last night. I was, yep. I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Where Guillermo was dispensing Don Julio. I left because there was no tequila in the tables. Uh huh. I guess they wanted everyone to stay, I mean, or you drank the whole thing. No, because... that was interesting. You're right. There was no. There was a bottle, a couple of bottles of wine, and there, you know, four I'm... hours, and that was it. Yeah. I so... think they were trying to keep people from getting loaded. Yeah, from from slaps and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Sure. I guess. I guess. I don't know. I saw your your gag, and I have to say it's the best part. Of what it. guy? Well, you were the, the way you were dragged in. Oh, and dragged oh thank out. you. <laughs> that is that was. I woke up laughing. This oh, morning. oh, good. Well, I'm thank a... you. I'm <laughs> still sleeping after that. But um, you um you now you were at D23 this weekend, too, I was. right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that was quite a weekend for you. Now this, for people who don't know, D23 is a place where uh, Disney, the company, which owns Marvel, owns the Star Wars, you, everything. Me, yeah, everything, everything. Your shoes, the everything. The stool, you name yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. They announce their big films, and all the stars of these films and TV shows come. Oh, yeah. And they are congregating together. Now, are you in like a room with all the other D23 with, stars? With everyone. I mean, I know everyone from Star Wars, you know? Right. Uh, it's amazing, the energy over there. It's 7,000 people in a room. And super, 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 super fans. Fun. They yeah. make you believe like everything you do is worth like an applause, you know? <laughs> Basically, you come out and no, it, and it, I have to send a message because it's a beautiful thing, like the, the amount of love around Star Wars, you know? Yeah. You come out and everyone cares about your show. It's so weird. It's so bizarre. <laughs> I've spent my whole life trying to get people's attention and at the end say, oh, by the way, there's a show you can watch where I'm in. And, yeah, right, yeah. You know? And now it's the opposite. It's just a Pure expectation, 7,000 people going, we want to like it. Right. And then you go, holy crap. Uh, uh, I mean, I've been doing it for four years and a half, but I'm not sure if you're going to like it. I, I like it. But then you go out of that place and you realize no one else gives up, you know? Right, outside the... I mean, well, yeah. I don't know about that. I think... No, not as much as that. Like, yeah. I, went, I went out of D23 and I said, oh, can I stop for a coffee? I went for a coffee and they made me make the line. <laughs> I waited. It was, it was an almond milk, I could tell. <laughs> you know? It was like, oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should never leave D23. I am going to leave there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your son, as I recall, last time you were on the show, it was over Zoom because it was during COVID. Uh, didn't your son ruin something from um, Rogue One? He spoiled something from the... A, a lot of things, yeah. He yeah. took a... Yeah. 
I, he took a picture of me, you know, when we were FaceTiming and uh, the costumes. And right, yeah. And he wanted yeah. to send it to his friends. Uh, he <laughs> used it, you know, as a pickup line, uh, you know, <laughs> in the holiday with other girls. And, but now he's, he's so mature. Uh, oh, he is now. Much more than me, definitely. Really? He, he's 14. Obviously, so... So you can trust him now with this no, information? No, he, he works for Disney. I mean, I'm sure of that, you know? <laughs> Why is because that? He wakes up and says, like, you, you're late, you know? Don't say this. If, if I'm coming here, because he knows I'm here, uh, he says, don't spoil anything, you know? Make sure you talk about the show and not your life. Uh, <laughs> really? Like, you know, you're gonna, like... Like a yeah, little publicist yeah, yeah. you got going there. He, he's, yeah. He, he's 14? He's 14, and he's protecting, I guess, the universe of Star Wars. Uh, oh, good. Uh, I'm glad I, somebody <laughs> is. What is his name, your son? His name is Geronimo, and I have to say, I, I thought I was going to be his hero after being in Star Wars, and yeah. it didn't happen. Oh. No, no. It never happens Well, because kids. I die in the film, so he goes like, that's it? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's over. Now I'm gladly back, but, uh, but I'm his hero because I'm here. Oh. He watches this show. Oh, he does? Oh, yeah. good. Well, hi, Geronimo. Thank you for watching. He does. So this... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it a point to make sure that you are my son Billy's hero. We will uh, watch the show together. Although this is not necessarily a show for little kids. This is like kind of a serious take on, um, I mean, I could see already you're drawing some parallels to the real world as it compares to the, to the yeah. Death Star. And um, it's really <laughs> more of an, a, a, is it fair to say an adult Star Wars show? I would say like a complex show because my son loves it, my my, gotcha. my daughter loves it. So I, I don't think, I think it's about people that want uh, complexity, yeah. And and uh, there's so many layers in the show. Sometimes it's uh, it's it brings the adventure and action you want to see in Star Wars, but also it becomes very dark and political. Mm -hmm. It's a, a spy thriller. Uh, it gets very intimate into the life of these people. We have 12 episodes in this first chunk. Right, you know, 12 episodes. And you're out. releasing the first three at once, right? Three. Yeah. First three at once. Well, it's like a film, the whole thing, you know? It, it, it's, it, it'll be like an hour and no, like, yeah. Well, it'll be like a film, uh -huh. basically, yeah. a good chunk. <laughs> but also, it's important for us uh, that you get to see three episodes so you understand the, what we're aiming for, I see. you know? I got it's, you. Uh, it's, it's a lot of new characters, new planets. And, uh, and again, it's, uh, it's about spice. So there's a lot of information and complexity. Yeah. Uh, it's cool. I think Is there tequila in space? <laughs> I made sure there is. You yeah, made yeah, sure yeah. there is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there is, there has to be tequila to say those names. You know? <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of, uh, yeah, a ton of tough you ones. You know, talking about tequila and names. What? You know how R two D two is called in Mexico. What is R two D? What R dos D dos? Uh, it kind of is little Arthur. It's Arturito. And it, oh. Yeah. You know the story, no? Yeah. We, we call it Arturito. Arturito. Because it sounds like that. R2D2 no? R2 R2 D2 is known as Arturito? Arturito. For Ar my whole uh, really? not life, I would say the first 15 years of my life, I thought it was little Arthur. <laughs> and, and it, but it makes sense. Also, yeah, it does make sense. He's tiny. I like little Arthur. <laughs> little Arthur and little Guillermo could do a thing. <laughs> Arturito y Guillermito. Diego Luna, everybody. Andor premieres three episodes September 21st on Disney+. We'll be back with Kane Brown.